Hi guys, how are you doing today? Can you tell where I am? Oh, I'm at Bista uh, Village because it's, well, not because, just because I wanted to come check things out. I have got a few things on my list, but they're not priority or anything like that. But it's Bank Holiday Monday today. It's a substitute Bank Holiday for the new year or New Year's Day. And I've already seen keys to get in. It's not even nine o'clock yet, and nine o'clock is when it opens. But in the main entrance, you know where Gucci is, that bit, there's already a queue. But then the one that's like where Prada is, there isn't. So I don't know why people are congregating there so early. Um, it's just like creating hysteria, I guess. But um, it'll be fine. There's not that many people in the queue. As you can see, there's hardly anyone in this bit of the car park. I'm at Ralph Lauren end. That is the best end to go to. That is one of my number one top tips. Like if you want a parking space, come down here. Even when it's busy, there's normally a few around here. Um, that's by valet. Don't go in valet, obviously, unless you want to pay for that. But yeah, today we're going to go around Vista Village, have a look to see what they've got. They've possibly some sale more sale stuff because that's what normally happens around this time of year so come shop with me around Bista Village. Okay so first thing we come to now when you come in the Ralph Lauren end is this new um like pasta restaurant which they did have kind of a kiosk down below um near where Carluccio's a long time ago used to be but pause the screen here for the menu um like an Italian pasta restaurant there so that is interesting I hopefully that is a permanent thing addition there because that space has been like a temporary thing ever since the new bit this end Ralph Lauren end has opened um but we're making our way down now this is designer exchange I wonder if that is now permanent but we are now going in Prada up the escalators to the men's section and here we go um this is I was trying to be inconspicuous but as you can see not many people in here which is quite good um and I'm just going to show you some prices like this is £420 for this jumper and then they had this like nylon either shirt or cardigan I wasn't sure and I didn't want to open it obviously to have a look at um, but that was 200 and something but now obviously Prado is known for their nylon next we'll have a look at one of their puffer jackets um, to see how much they are because Prado is I feel like they're notorious not maybe not that's not the right word but they're known kind of for jackets and stuff i couldn't get the price on that one but i will get it on this one hopefully here we go they have these tiny bits to get and it's around what was that 590 pounds which isn't extortionate but it's still quite a lot obviously um but then we're going back downstairs and out because we are done in prada there's um bottega vanessa but next we're going in burberry which is one of my faves. Um, I haven't bought anything in Burberry for a while because, as you'll know from previous videos, it's not my favourite store anymore at Vista because the prices are more expensive than they used to be before they redid it. They're now much pricier. See, this is like £90 for a t-shirt, which it wouldn't have been that price before. I've got shirts in here. We're going to have a look at shirt price now, but I have bought shirts in here for as little as £50 before, but they don't do that anymore because when they remodelled, I guess they bumped up the price, but that's 129 for that. Um, this jumper though, I do, and I've seen this Lowe's, this was in the store back when it wasn't remodelled, um, was, can you see the price there? Um, yeah, so they had that, but I think that was in like the special sale section. Um, I didn't have a look at the trench coat today because there was a man literally standing right next to them, um, as in a sales associate. But now we're going to look in Armani, somewhere I don't normally look in. Armani here sells all the brands of Armani, so like Armani Exchange, um, Emporio, don't know, they probably won't sell Giorgio, um, and then like EA7 or whatever it's called. Um, so lots of different brands of the Armani stuff, and obviously they don't have to sell Armani Casa, but they had Armani Junior, and um, they had quite a lot of nice watches, which are really nice, I love those, um, but yeah, Armani's not really my vibe much, um, Gucci is there, but you do have to get here early and get a reservation, like get in the digital queue to even step foot in Gucci, I feel like, because it's only like quarter past nine and I didn't, you can't get in. But now we're in Dior. I do love a bit of Dior. I haven't got anything Dior, but I do love the idea of it. 
Um, their shoes that look really nice, like this Chelsea boot, a hundred and something pounds. That is so good for that, considering like Zara sells stuff at eighty. So for a bit more, you could get something from Dior, and like those loafers were a hundred and fifty. So that's not too off, like a Zara price. And hopefully the quality would be better, wouldn't it? As it's you know Dior, but. Obviously, I've never had anything from Dior, um, but I feel like you'd have to ask for different sizes and stuff because it's like there's only one on the shelf. And the same with like t shirts and things, unless that t shirt is literally the only one they have. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then this red Dior, I remembered this logo coming like from not too many collections ago, so that's not too bad. And then they have some small leather goods. Um, Saint Laurent, as you would have seen in my last come shot with me at Vista, I'll link that up below above um has now moved this is where calf kidston used to be um but next we're going to go into tommy hill figure one of my faves i do love a bit of tommy hill figure and what kind of price is this is a sweatshirt we've got here um yeah which looks really looks really nice i have got a tommy hill figure sweatshirt something i didn't notice it said non-sale on some stuff did you see that sign i don't know whether that means that's like full price items or whether that isn't included in the special sale that they have. I don't know. I didn't look into it too deeply because I only saw it as I was editing this video. So yes, they did have quite a lot of quarter zips in lots of different colours and you know me, I love me a quarter zip. £63 I suppose isn't too extortionate and maybe one day I will pick one of those up because I literally live in quarter zips. These are more quarter zip jumpers if I can even talk. Um, which would be perfect for like work, not, well not, they're not quarter zip sweatshirts. As you can see, look how empty it is. Um, as I was saying earlier, there was queues to get into stuff, but obviously they didn't materialise to anything. That's the off-white store. The last time I went to Vista, that was closed in memorial for um, Virgil Abril. Um, but it is reopened. I thought they might have closed it completely, but it is reopened. As you can see, not too busy still. Um, and it was probably around quarter to ten, ten o'clock at this point. And last stop we're going to go in is Ralph Lauren to see what they have. Um, that was a hoodie there. Um, I'm just going to show you the price of one of their t-shirts because I think this is extortionate now. Like their polo shirts back in the day didn't even used to be this in here. Um, but that is how much one of their t-shirts are and they've got quarter zip stuff in here as well i love these these are more sweatshirts than the um tommy hilfiger ones were but they're so nice so i've just got back in the car it's now like half 10 so i've been here an hour and a half and the car park is well this end anyway is now full it is bank holiday so top tip if you're coming on a ballet bank holiday either don't or <laughs> because it will get really busy or get here early because it will get busy and now the opening times now just normally are now eight to seven um during the holiday christmas period they're normally eight to like eight or something like that um but now it is nine till seven i did like it's getting busy now in some of the shops and things and like i just went in ralph lauren the last stop there wasn't a queue or anything but inside was moderate i would say it wasn't super busy but moderate um, but I did buy a few things, but really not much. And all by one thing, which was literally two pound, is get our gifts. Um, my tummy's rumbling. I need to go to the supermarket after this. Like on my way home, I'm gonna go to three different supermarkets because I need things in three different places. I don't need to, but I want to go in Lidl, then Sainsbury's, and then Tesco's for different types of things because they will do different things better or worse um but yeah so today now like walking around now it's not so busy like gucci you do have to get in the digital queue as soon as you get here i don't mean you can even go in without being in the digital queue but i got in prada and i got in burberry and i got in dior without going in the digital queue by just going here like going to those first i was literally in prada at like 901 or something like that because that's the i beelined to there and got in there first there was just a car going past and I didn't want them to think I was going because then they'll try and nick my space. But yeah, I'm going to go home now and I will do our little haul at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, I'm back from this 
posture now. I've actually been, I've only just got back, but I've been to like three supermarkets. I went to Sainsbury's, Lidl and Tesco's to get some food. Um, but basically I'm back now. Um, I'm wearing this new jumper. If you haven't seen my Primark video, I'll link that up above, go watch that. But I have got a little tiny haul for you from two of my regular haunts at Vista. I had a few things on my list that I wanted. Um, before Christmas, she would have re well, if you've watched that come shot with me at Vista, I wanted a I I wanted um Prada Luna Rossa because they used to do that in Vista Village. I went in Prada again today, as you would have seen from the come shot with me part of this video, but nada. There is they don't they only had one fragrance there and I don't know what it was and I didn't walk over to see it. That's in the men's section. They had some more in the women's section though, um, which was downstairs. Other things on my list were um and I'll get onto those because they're I got some things off the list basically um, and I also wanted to and I looked in Ted Baker I didn't film anything in Ted Baker because that by that point it was quite busy um, I wanted and I, I've seen on John Lewis there's a Ted Baker t-shirt that just has Ted Baker written here and it's quite nice quite like that I might might have to buy that um, and there's a Ted Baker pencil case that I quite like because I quite like the idea of having a pencil case for work because at the moment I just shove things in my bag and it's not good and if you've watched my unboxing of my new bag I don't want to ruin that bag but I would be putting the pencil case in my work bag which as in my work laptop bag which is massive that has all my work stuff like not my personal things um and I also wanted an airpods case because the next video to this I think possibly will be the unboxing of something from Apple but yeah so today I bought some things, not too much, like literally it came to £25 in total. Um, for, I'll start off with the first place I went to. First place, well, not went to, bought stuff from was the White Company, one of my usual places I get stuff. I did have a diffuser on my list and they did have the diffusers on there and maybe I should have picked one up because I could have got it for cheaper. They're now £18, they used to be £17 and Wild Blackberry is the, my favourite and my mum's favourite, I gave one of hers to for her to Christmas and I've got um two more in backup because once at Vista they just didn't have them and I was like oh my god where are they um but my mum doesn't need any more diffusers because she literally got six for Christmas um but anyway I went in here because I wanted the flannel let me just take it out and let me get the receipt which they put right at the bottom of this teeny tiny bag. This isn't the smallest one they do, I think they do an even smaller one. But I spent in total £7.20 um, because I got 80p discount because I get 10% off because I get a VIP card from Vista because I have a blue light card because of my job or where I work. So I got a flannel which was two, well it says £3 here. And then it says two pounds here so it was two pounds i have i do like their flannels i use them i don't really use them for a flannel I use them as a face towel instead after i've washed my face rather than as a flannel flannel um so that's why i got that i've got one in a lighter color but it's going a bit funny and i've got one in this color which isn't this is in slate which i think i bought some towels which i'm not using i will use them hopefully if i do ever move i'll use those um so yeah, I got that £2, but then minus 10% so makes it £1.80, doesn't it? And then I also got this little thing for, because, little thing for my niece, because it's her birthday soon. She's soon going to be one. Oh, I didn't realise. Is there two in here? Oh, okay. That's even better. Um, So I picked up this t-shirt for her. She's going to be one. Um, And this is in a one and a half to two i i did see on the tag it did say like set of two and i was like where's the other one then um because it's two pat t-shirts so there's nice not nice nice stripy one in a blue and then underneath there is i'll just try and get it out as nicely as possible there is like a polka dot one which such a good price then because this was at vista two pack was six pounds instead of 24 but then i got 10 percent off of that so that's 60p uh which makes it five pound 
40 for two white company t-shirts. I don't know if you could even get Primark ones really for that price. So that's amazing. I I did see the two pack and then I kind of forgot about it because maybe I thought they might be in Vista Village because they haven't got the other one and six pound for a white company t-shirt is quite good as it is so yeah that's what i got in the white company and then i'll just put the receipt back in there and then i went in rituals my other favorite haunt um and i didn't realize i could use my vip card in here as well you can use it on full price stuff if there's stuff on sale on sale like sale on top of the outlet price you can't but you can use it on top of um like outlet prices but not with a sale so i got two of these which if i can get out two of these which is the ritual of sakura um and this is the heavenly bathroom this is my mum's favorite i got it for my mum i'm thinking ahead for um mother's day so i got her two of those because i didn't buy her this for christmas because they didn't actually have it in they didn't have this scent in rituals in the bath foam this like just before christmas when i went and i was like so i sent a link to my sister to say my my mum our mum likes this can you buy it she didn't buy it um she bought some body shop stuff instead but she would prefer to have had that this in store is uh, bar so I think it's normally like in a rituals actual ritual store and there is one of those in Biff, um Milton Keynes now this is £13.90 but it's like £9 something in Vista Village but then I got 10% off of that so basically it was it would have been if you bought this in a rituals full price store it would be £27.80 for two of these but then I got 10% off which is um £7 uh, no £2.78 and then you got £7.51% on top of that off so I basically got these for 40% off in total um so yes I'll tell you the actual price at the end because I've got one other thing which I'll also give this to my mum for Christmas they didn't so this was on sale on sale so I couldn't use my discount card for not a discount card you did get a QR code and why can't I not see the name of the actual thing here we go. This is Ritual of, you tell me how to pronounce that, I don't know. Um, and it is the body cream. Should I just open it? Mm, maybe I shouldn't do this. Oh, it's got a seal on it and I can't smell it anyway, but it's got like a, is that a bamboo lid? I don't know, but it's very nice. How many mils of this do you get? The lighting, 220 of that. And of this, you get 500. So I will give, these will be my Mother's Day present to my mum. Um, but so this was, so it was £18.50 this, minus £11.10. So that is, I think it was around the £7 mark. And I couldn't get 10% off of that in total. So altogether, this came to £24.50. Did it? Okay, it came to £24.91. I thought it came... No, maybe it's down here. Right, here it is. I don't understand. I hate ritual receipts. I think it came to £24.91, I think. I think that's what it came to. I can't make head or tail of this massive receipt. But anyway... That is what I got in Vista Village. Um, not very exciting things and kind of, bar one thing which was £1.80, everything else is for other people to give as gifts for like birthday and Mother's Day. Thinking ahead, that's my stomach, I'm so sorry, I'm quite hungry, I'm going to have to eat something straight after this. But my mum's not had a body cream from rituals i don't believe before and this is quite like a hefty tub so i thought that was quite good i think this was around seven pound i wish it told you on the receipt it literally doesn't it's so annoying but yeah and she loves this anyway so that is my mother's day present sorted
So yes, let me know if you've been to Bista Village recently or any other outlet place. I have, like, if you've been to Ashford or Cheshire Oaks or anything like that, let me know down below and let me know if you got anything. Um, I know Bista is doing, like, extra percentage off in sales and stuff at the moment as well. It's not a private sale, I do like their private sale, but just like normally. So let me know about that. Um, if you're not already, please take the moment to subscribe, hit that bell button down below to get notified of my videos if you are not already. Follow my Instagrams as well, they're always linked down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!